Hi guys, this is Saurabh. In this video, we will learn how we can create Tic Tac 2 cam in MIT App Inventor. Okay, so here you can see the example. Okay, so that's the app here. Now, whenever I click on this button, you will see uh, I will change this button color. You can see here. Now, if I click on another, that's the uh, O turn. Now, that's the X turn again. So, I'm going to make it like this. If that's the O turn, just click on O and F, that's the X turn. And you see the X won the game. Click on OK, you will find your access, right? So that's the overall game we will create. Okay, so here we start this game. So here we need to click on start new project, and that's our app name is Tic Tac 2. Okay, now that's the screen. Now we need here one layout, and that should be table layout. Okay, so in the left side, you will find your layout option. Just drag and drop this table arrangement like this. Okay, and make this column should be 3 and make it row should be 3. Alright, because we are using a 3, 3. Uh, right now, let's make it uh, with this fill parent. Alright, and here in the left side, you will find your user interface. Okay, clean on it. And there's one label. Okay, and just drag and drop this label here like this. Okay, now. We have to drag and drop here nine buttons. Okay, so that's the button. Just drag and drop this one here. One, then two, and then three. Again, we have to uh, drag and drop two more button, three more buttons. It means total nine buttons we have to drag and drop here. And that one is ninth button. Fine. Now, let's remove the text from the all these images so just click on button one remove text okay and just do it again and again and again and again like this like this you can do one more thing that like you can do the code for that but i don't want to uh, extend the code so that's why i'm removing it manually okay so so we can reduce the code of uh, code for this game okay so it will be fine for you right this one is code is there is no code yeah fine now in the button one we will make it at least which should be uh, something let's make it if I just make it 10% that's how it's look no so I'm going to make it at least 30% okay it means 30 30 and 30 it means 90% right like this so you can do this thing also with your code but I don't want to increase the code in the block section so that's why i'm using all this thing i'm going to do i'm going to do this all these things with the manually i'm not going to do it right this like see that's very simple so that's the overall design now i'm going to change the background color so click on the screen and you will find your background you can change the background image also right but i'm using your background color so i'm using your orange color like this and text box level 1 and I'm going to make it at least 20 okay and click on this screen and make this align horizontal is center and make it also center like this all right now here we need to drag and drop one more button for that's the reset button and change this text to reset all right and I'm going to design this button so I'm going to use your some pink okay and make this font size is 18 like this okay so that's your reset button that's your label this will display the uh, turn okay and here's the uh, game over all right now let's go to the block section okay no first we need to drag and drop one more thing that one is notify okay we have to notify who is winner right so just drag and drop this notifier here simple now anything we need here no we don't need anything other another thing like till now so let's go to the block section now here we need to initialize some variables it means three variables we have to initialize so in the left side you will find your variable option okay and you will find your initialize global just drag and drop this and that should be you can make it any uh, you can change this label name to any so i'm going to make it a uh, turn number turn okay and this value should be zero you can change this zero to any other value with that okay but this one is common like zero and x 
over x is common so that's why we are using here 0 or something o and just copy this two times okay and change this initialize global number to uh, turn turn o like this or something turn o is fine okay so I'm to no turn x this should be turn x sorry that should be the turn x so I'm going to delete this and click on text and drag and drop this here and make it here text x right and we have to initialize one more variable for the winner so I'm going to use here win and uh, who will win so I'm going to use here any other variable we will change it later okay because we don't know uh, right till now who is winner okay so I'm using here star now we have to create procedure okay because we have to run this game uh, this process a uh, lot of process many times so that's why we are using procedure so this will reduce the code so in the left side you will find procedure option uh, you will find this procedure in the built-in okay click on this procedure here and now we can change this procedure name okay now, now here we need to change the procedure name and what we will do here the procedure name should be something you can select any name okay and if I just suppose uh, uh, just type here new game like this new game like this okay and we have to set the here global variables also so just mouse over here and set global turn number is zero like this okay and uh, we have to do it again two more times so i'm using here just copy paste this thing and here we need to change the value and here we need to global turn to x and that one is global is win so i'm going to delete this one delete this one or no, no no delete this one value also copy this value from here and paste it here like this and yeah this one is easy way to Oh, make it code fast you can do copy and paste thing like this okay right now we have to set label value also right uh, you will find here this one label uh, where this one level okay this will display the uh, which uh, turn turn okay so I'm using in the left side level 1 and we have to set this text so set level 1 dot text here just drag and drop this here and text I'm going to use here first turn should be x turn okay you can change this one also you can make it the o turn first okay x turn I'm going to make it x turn first that's why I'm using here x turn now here we need to initialize local grid okay this should be a list actually okay and in this list we have to put all our buttons all right so in the left side you'll find variable just click on it and here we need to initialize local variable so this one just drag and drop this here like this and initialize local so you can ch uh, change your name so i'm going to make it grid okay and then we have to make a list okay for all uh, all buttons right so you will find here this one so we need to click on the list option and you'll find here make a list okay just drag and drop this list here like this and, uh, make a list button so I'm going to make it here three like you have to do it nine times it and just click on this button and in the last you'll find your button one just drag and drop this here button now whenever they will uh, initialize the uh, local grid okay then what we will do we have to uh, use here one loop and that should be for each loop okay so I'm going to arrange this code here like this here and make it here okay and make it up like this and we will use here for each loop so how we can use for each loop in the left side you will find your control okay and you will see here for each okay so for each list this one because we are using a list so that's why we are using for each list whenever for each item item should be a button okay so I'm going to change this item uh, it's to button so we will not confuse okay like this button 
now and uh, in list which list uh, you will find here we have created this grid list get this grid list like this simple now we have to set all our button text is uh, zero uh, it means it's something like a blank text okay because when we playing game so this will uh, change the uh, button text okay like x o like that but whenever we initialize our game and whenever we reset our button whenever we open our game so we have to make it blank okay there should be no text in button so that's why we are using at this okay and now let's click on okay so this will allow uh, this will follow in the all buttons okay so that's why we are using here button component any component so click on in the left side you find any component just click on this plus sign and just any button and we have to change button text okay so set button you will find your set button text just uh, this one okay so set button text for each buttons we have to set button text of component which component it means this one button okay like here and two two means uh, what tag uh, what text we will display in our button we will display null text it means nothing like this simple okay now that's the overall uh, for the uh, display the null value in the button text okay now we will create another procedure okay to check the condition who is winner okay so let's start so in the left side you will find your procedure just click on it again and you will see here two procedures just drag and drop this and we will change this procedure name is something is winner okay uh, is winner like this and in the you will find your setting icon okay and we have to input here three uh, inputs because if the three x is in a parallel so we uh, we have to make it x win if uh, uh, the three uh, in a same line is o is then we have to uh, make it o is winner right so that's why we are using a three because we have to check all these three uh, components now let's see if uh, so we are using your control option and just drag and drop this if get x is equal to get x2 I, I'll explain you wait uh, just click on logic button and just drag and drop this one equal sign and wait some seconds and then we have to make here one more thing is we have to drag and drop one more and here and you'll find here this one and okay and just drag and drop this here and drag and drop this one here and make this one is like here you got it now why we uh, why we, we should use this like if the button one it means x is get x is equal to x2 it means this one get two then if it means if x1 is equal to x2 then we have to check get x1 just copy this uh, paste it x should be equal x3 right if x equal to x2 and we are using it and okay make sure and we are using it and x equal to x3 then we have who who is the winner the winner is x okay so set global winner you will find your global win set global win here we have to make get x this value right now we have to create one more procedure to check all these condition so tomorrow we will learn how we can check the conditions right and we will uh, we have to change the color also we have to do a lot of things in this app if you have any suggestion for this game okay so just comment on the video please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video have a nice day be safe bye bye